Hey there, Father Michael here. <clears throat> so it's Friday, end of a long, long week for many of us, and waking up today and putting on the news pretty much has me worked up today. First of all, at least eight people were killed while I slept in Indianapolis, a place I used to live, in another mass shooting with a semi-automatic weapon. Are you kidding me? And second, that video of the killing of that young Latino boy in Chicago was released, 13 years old, seventh grade, shot and killed, unarmed, hands up, in downtown Chicago. I'm over it. I'm mad as hell this morning. What is going on here? Blaming the mentally ill is bullshit. We all know that. That's just a little shell game that we play. Sending thoughts and prayers even deeper bullshit. Not helping, not working. That's not what we need here. Blaming the people who dare to, to step up and protest systemic racism and this culture of police violence against people of color, that's not holding water either. And neither is our upholding the profit motives of the gun industry and the gun lobby. That's despicable. It is not the police. It is not the mentally ill. It's you and me. We made this bullshit and we are keeping it going by our choices. We are acting from our own selfish self-interest to keep these assholes in office, the ones who are in the pocket of the gun lobby, the ones collecting big dollars from the pro-gun industry. And we lie to ourselves and we wring our hands and, oh my, we're protecting ourselves from communism and from socialism even though 99% of us don't have a clue what those words even mean, and we couldn't define them accurately if our lives depended on it. I happen to be a white dude. I live in privilege that other people don't have. Whether I want to or not, it is what it is. And it is time for us privileged white people to figure out what the hell's going on here because we are setting in motion a miserable future for our kids and grandkids because do you think, do you really think there's not going to be some rebound from this once we are straight up the minority in this country? The day of reckoning is coming. It's Friday. Every Friday, those of us who pray the Liturgy of the Hours, we pray Psalm 51. And verse 17 of that psalm says, The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit. A broken, humble heart, O God, you will not reject. There's wisdom in there for us. <clears throat> That psalm goes back to the time of David, the king, written perhaps in the aftermath of his realizing that what he did, setting up Uriah the Hittite to be killed so he could smash it with his wife Bathsheba <clears throat> and conceive a son, he's realizing the horror of what he did there. And it's Nathan the prophet who goes, who has the balls to go to the king and let him have it. Gives him the words of judgment 
from the mouth of God. And instead of David calling it fake news and coming up with some BS excuse, David accepts it and admits what he has done. And he is overwhelmed with remorse because David does love the God of Israel. And he realizes now that due to his choices, he is feeling overwhelmingly separated and alienated from this God. And so he openly and publicly repents. And it is only then that the ills in the kingdom are remedied and he feels at last restored to God's grace. The gospel of the Christ is not partisan politics, but make no damn mistake, it is political. It is political. It's what got Jesus killed. Today is a day of reckoning for Indiana. And I realize we're the birthplace of the KKK. I realize that this is a place where hate and racism is still alive and even thriving. Where literally four months ago, while on the way to work, someone accosted me in my car and called me a nigger. Are you kidding me? This is the home of mega churches where so-called Christians run and sing hallelujah, love you, Jesus, to get their opioid fix of fake religion and then go home smugly, self-contented, self-assured in their hatred and judgment of people of color and trans people and gay and lesbian people. Enough already. Enough. There is a growing minority of us, frankly, who are sick and tired of this violence. Sick and tired of it. I personally am done saying that prayer that says, help me to accept the things I cannot change. No. No. It's time all of us wake up and pray the prayer, help us change the things we cannot accept. A little angry today. Disgusted today. Disgusted by those who claim to believe in God who are perfectly fine with the violence and the hate as long as they get their paycheck, as long as they maintain their white privilege. A clean heart create in me, O oh God, today. Let your spirit come upon me. Let me offer you a sacrifice of my broken spirit, my broken and humble heart because it is in knowing you and you alone that justice can be done, that peace will be found for all people. The humble heart, O oh God, you will not ever reject. Pray with me. God of endless grace. We come into your presence this morning, many of us upset, filled with indignation, anger. Much like your Christ, when he entered the temple in Jerusalem and overturned the tables of the complacent and the collaborators with evil. Give us today a measure of your peace, a measure of your passion for justice and change, 
Help us to stop praying to accept the things we think we cannot change. And instead, help us to wake up and change the things we cannot accept. For all of the times that we have held our tongue and we needed to speak up, forgive us. For the times that we have voted for those we knew we're only going to preserve white privilege for those of us who are white. Forgive us for all the times that we thought we were just a little bit better than anybody. Forgive us. And in this moment today, give us a broken heart as our morning offering to you. Give us humility and insight. And as we work to make your kingdom real, help us to trust that we have not been rejected, that despite everything we have done or said in the past, you still love us. And we are even in this moment being restored to your grace and your power. We ask all this in the name of Jesus, your passionate advocate for justice, the one who was not afraid to demonstrate against the powers that be and to show us peace is real, real, really possible. Amen. Make today.